Removing an item from a linked list is a matter of adjusting a pointer to effectively eliminate the item from the list. Here's our linked list. At the start of the list, we have item 6, Abigail, and Abigail points to item 3, Beatrix. Beatrix points to item 1, Chloe, and Chloe points to item 4, David. David, in turn, points to item 5, and item 5, Edward, points to item 2, which is Francis. Francis's next pointer is set to 0, which means Francis is the last item in the list. So how do we go about removing David from this list? David used to point to item 5, so it's a simple matter of adjusting David's preceding items pointer to point to item 5. David is still in the data array, but the system of pointers is now bypassing him. What then if we want to remove Abigail? Abigail is slightly different because Abigail is the starting item. Abigail was pointing to Beatrix, item number three. So all we have to do is make Beatrix the new starting item. Let's take a look at the pseudocode that'll do this job. It's an enhancement of the code to traverse a list or to search for an item in the list. We begin by assigning the start value to PTR. In this case, PTR will be 6. We then ask if this data item, data item 6, is the one we want to get rid of. If we're removing the start item, it's a special case. We set the new start value to be the pointer of the previous starting item and we can exit the procedure. If we want to remove one of the other items, we have this loop which will traverse the list to identify which one to remove. As we visit each item, we check if it's the item to remove. If it isn't, we keep a record of the current item before we move on to visit the next. This means we can refer to it later if needs be. We do this by assigning PTR to previous PTR. When we do eventually visit the item that we want to remove, we can bypass it by getting the preceding item to point to whatever it was pointing to. And then we can exit the procedure.